Today, I'm going to discuss with all of you about a very, very important um, topic, which is important for every people, every salaried person, and this to be considered very, very diligently uh, throughout the year, because these points are to be noted down while you have to file the tax return then this points to you need to consider consider this point so that you can get the maximum tax benefits which has been announced by the government for all the taxpayers so i'm going to talk about the deductions today i'm going to discuss about the deductions what are the deductions which has been provided by the government so that you can get the maximum tax benefit the first deduction which we usually talk about that is deduction deduction under section 80c especially this year there is a great hope uh, from the budget that the deductions slab rate will be changed we are all thinking about this and we are all all, all hoping that may slab rate will be changed and it will be increased from 1.5 lakh to 2.5 lakhs but sorry to say that nothing happened, nothing happened like this. Still, section 80C up to rupees 1.5 lakh. So what are those uh, investments where you can invest and so that you can avail the stack? First and foremost important point, any amount, if you invest in LIC, ULEAP or the term plan, you can get a direct deduction up to rupees 1.5 lakh. ELSS, SIP, if you in ELSS fund, if you invest in the SIP mode or if you invest in lump sum mode also, then also you can avail deduction up to 1.5 lakh under section 80C. Then provident fund, PF, EPF and other investments mode. You can get option if in case of education fees of children, the fees what you paid to the child's education you have to submit the receipt of it and you can avail the deduction, but it's only up to rupees 1.5 lakh and the home loan EMI's principal amount. When you are paying the home loan in the EMI format, then you have to pay both principal as well as the interest portion. So stand uh, under section 80C, you will get the benefit of only the principal amount which you have, which you have been paid. So. This is, these all are the five areas which are covered under section 80C and the combined investments of this should not exceed 1.5 lakh. It means that if your total investment in a particular year under this 80C schemes are up to 2.5 lakh, 3 lakhs or more, it will consider, government will consider only up to rupees 1.5 lakh, not more than that. So, this is ATC reduction. Now coming to the next points, which is ATD, MediClaim. Any amount which has been paid by you for the medical insurance, you will get reduction up to that. So what are the slab rates? That is, in case of own and family health insurance, means family floater. If you take a family floater plan for yourself, for your spouse and max to max two children, this is called family floater plan and it will cover 25,000 yearly premium. If your yearly premium is 25,000 or more than 25,000 doesn't matter. It will be considered only up to 25,000. You will get deduction under section 80 D in case of health checkup 5 K. If the parents are senior citizen, then it's up to 50k. If you take family floater for yourself, for your spouse, for your two children, as well as for your aged parents, parents whose age more than 60 years, who comes under the senior citizen category, then in combined, if you pay the total premium up to be 70, uh, premium 70,000, 80,000 in a year, then you will get Deduction under section 80D up to rupees 50,000 only. Only in case your parents covered under this medical benefits and they are under the senior citizen category. Else, if you will take only the family floater plan, 
then it will be up to 25k and if you cover your parents who comes under the senior citizen category and you take the mediclaim benefits for them too also then it will be extended to 50k i hope i make it clear to you now coming to the next deduction that is 80 ccd 80 ccd covers the nps national pension scheme i made a separate video on nps too so where there where i have clearly mentioned that what is nps what are the benefits what are the merits what are the demerits what are the pros and what are the cons of taking nps so in nps tier 1 category if you invest up to rupees 50000 by march of this by march of uh, financial year then you will get additional 50000 benefit under section 80 ccd it means that if you paid monthly 4000 if monthly 4000 amount you invest in nps scheme then it will be 4000 into 12 48000 you will get benefit or up to 48000 if you invest in 6000 per month basis in nps scheme then it will be 6 into 12 72000 it means that you invest 72000 rupees in a year under nps category then you will get the benefit only up to 50000 and that is under section 80 ccd this is nps scheme's benefit now coming to the next deduction that is apg donation in case any amount you paid under pm care fund save children fund and there are there are lots of other donation schemes you invest you paid any amount as the donation then you will get a deduction under section apg these all are the deductions which are specifically uh, you will get avail and there is an additional deduction that is section 24 Under Section Twenty Four, it covers the home loan. Any amount you which you paid as the interest of your home loan, okay, as interest of your home home loan, that will cover under Section Twenty Four, Section Twenty Four, and the limit is two lakh for you. Up to two lakh, you will get the benefit of this. It means that you if you paid uh, three lakhs or four lakhs as interest. on your home loan under emi category you can avail the benefit under section 24 only up to rupees 2 lakh and that is only in case of interest on home loan so these all the deductions benefit which you can avail and uh, these are to be considered very strictly while you uh, filed your tax return therefore i discussed how many types of return atc under section atc where you can get the deduction benefit only up to rupees 1.5 lakh then it comes to atd mediclaim in case of the family float it is up to 25000 in case your mediclaim covers the covers your parents who both comes under senior citizen category then it's up to 50k per annum then the third which i have discussed that is atc cd NPS any fund which you have invested under NPS scheme you will get a direct benefit uh, up to fifty thousand in a year and the last but not least that is ATG which is donation fund and twenty four under section twenty four you will avail the interest on housing loan house loan interest on home loan and that will cover up to rupees two lakh per annum these all are the deductions which you can avail while filing your tax return. hope you definitely um, like this video and it, this will be a, will be a great help to you as well as your family while filing tax return so please file the tax return in a proper time that will be a great duty of uh, as a citizen um, all, all of us and uh, hope i will definitely try to give such more informative videos in the coming days stay tuned with me signing off for the day Take care of you. Bye bye.